Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I style my hair so you can see how I do it. This is Brandon Bennett, and feel free to like and subscribe. So yeah, let's get started. So this is Maxim, and it's Chrome Dry Hair Oil Treatment with Argan Oil. So I put that on my hands, rub it into my hair. Sometimes if my hair dries really quickly because I have very fine hair, so my hair dries really quickly. So, wet it a little bit. There's also Maxim Hair, Hair and Scalp Mender Leave-In Spray. Oh, I hate to let it just pops right off every time. Okay. There's my brush. There's my ball brush with balls. You know, brush had balls, right? <laughs> I'm going to show you too this thing, the True Barber. You can even just kind of go like this, and it just kind of holds right in place. Like I said, it had Velcro. I like it because it just helps brush those ends. It really holds it in place. Show you something else as well. Now you've been to the hair salon, so there's this. You can get it on Wish. It's one of those things that pops onto your head. So this is weird. This thing on. Pop this thing on. Sorry, I'm going to see this works out. I should have done this first off. So yeah, here we go. First time I'm using this, so. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hold it on, or that's gonna go. Screw that. I also like to use a curling brush. This thing is good too, but I'm probably gonna have to get more used to using it. Um, and you really have to hold it on the front and the back where it just pops right off. And it's kind of difficult because you're holding a blow dryer and then holding it, and then you gotta hold the back. It's like, good luck. So, yeah. Also, I have some Topic Hair Builder, which is the gray one. I really wanted my hair silver, so. So there's a plastic seal on it. As you can see. 
see there's like silver powder on there. I don't know how this is gonna look because honestly I never used the silver one before, so. You put this in like the bold spot areas. I try not to go too much on it. Just make your hair look a lot thicker. Covers those both spots. You know, I'm just gonna use a blonde one because this one's just not hiding it. So this one's the medium blonde. So you notice where like I have like this, cover that up. Probably like, you only want to do a little bit, you don't want to do a whole lot where it looks fake. You know what, do what you want, it's your hair. You like it looking like that, then go for it. So I wanted to test this out, see how it looks. So I got an Essence, I don't know if you can see that, the Essence, it's a eyebrow pencil. So I wanted to test this out to see how it looked. So hard doing this with this. Looking like you have little strands of hair. Oh, it looks cakey. Okay, you know what, don't do that. <laughs> but then I'm gonna show you how I do my eyebrow pencil. Here's a bunch of spool dogs. Sweet Jesus. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you over there. Or if my hair is just kind of going all over the place, like you see that, so I'm just gonna re wet that. And just kind of have this on like that so that holds that in place. So I'm gonna show you also how I do my eyebrows. Just since we're here. Ooh, it's got a little container, like a little exit. It just pops off, so you can just take one out instead of a whole bunch. And I like these because they have like little different designs. Like I said, they all have, oops. They all have different designs, so it's got like a little little balls. So these ones have different designs as you can see here. So put enough light. So that's this one in the middle. Or no, that's this one. So you got a skinny one, thicker one, really normal one, and then a pink thicker one too. So I usually brush my eyebrows. It's not so easy doing this with this camera. Actually, do a line. So we usually go to start to here. I'm sorry, I just flipped you off. Go to start to here to your edge. And I usually do the top one after. Going coloring this part in because you don't want it looking too thick, but you can always fix that. Actually, my arch a little dark, and I always just can lay it up later. Faces I make when I do this, I swear I go on. <gasps> so not easy to know. Yeah. 
There's my one eyebrow. See how like light it is there and then I just draw it like that. I don't like mine too dark or bold because I think it just looks weird and tacky. And I don't want it looking fake or look like a big freaking caterpillars on my eyebrow. Let's just do the other one now. This is gonna be difficult. This is the one I usually have an issue with, is my left one. <laughs> the line here is not that awesome. Some people are a lot better at doing this than I am, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And my one friend, it was funny because she went to like a salon and the one lady's like, your eyebrow looks crooked. Who fucking cares? Like if it's not your eyebrow and you're not doing it, like really, why need to care? See, the people that mind are the ones that don't matter, and the ones that don't mind are the people that mind, uh, you want to be around that matter, so. Get rid of those little kickies there. So yeah, I did not like doing it right here because it just looked big blotchy with things, and no. So yeah, there we go. And let's take this off. And boom, you see? It doesn't have that strand and it looks perfectly like that and brushed really like that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do my hair waxes and all. Come and stand up there. What else is there? Where is my hair wax? There we go. The Maxim Styling Taffy. Ooh. So I usually only grab like a little bit. Then usually instead of doing all over my hands, I just kind of like to do it on my fingertips. Maybe a little bit more than that. Feels like I got a booger on my hand, like really. So yeah, just that much on just the fingers. And I just kind of go like this. So if you want to use baby powder, it takes that kind of crazy look out, which a lot of people don't like. You can use that. Or two, I find if your hair is like really long and doesn't want to stay up like that, or if it's really windy outside, use bobby pins or two, you can use like see-through clips, especially if you're blonde. So there's like these miniature clips. I'll just see if I can grab them. Ooh. So I have these little organizers from Dollarama. They're great and they can stack on each other. So that's great. So if you go to Lush and you want to put stuff in there or other things, it's a great organizer and keeps the dust off. So yeah, I got these see-through little miniature like clips. Like I said, if you're blonde, you just want to do that. But my hair is not long to kind of need to use those, but if you want to do that, you can. So I may do another video with my wig. I got a new wig system and it's really long, so I'm probably going to do that on that video. All right, well, there we go. And I wonder if I have any baby powder. I 
I'll just show you how to do that. Got enough powder in my hair as is. It looks fine. I like it. So yeah. So like, yeah, as you can see there, I'm kind of like thinning out and like there as well. And I'm also thinning out like up here. So like now you can't even notice it because it's that stuff I showed you, the topic with two P's and a K, not a C. So it's hair building fibers and a medium blonde. So yeah, and which is great too, because honestly they made a mistake and sent me a medium brown instead. And um, they gave me a refund, so that's good. And I'm gonna give that one to my friend, it's granddaughter, because she has trichotillomania, so yeah. So I like to help her out, so. I know how devastating it is to lose your hair, but I mean, that's different, because she doesn't realize she's doing it when she's pulling her hair. And I mean, I have something different where it's not trichotillomania, it's actually hair loss, so. But do I know which one it is? No, I really don't. So yeah. All right, have a good one and feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. All right, thanks, bye.